Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all of my product empties that I've accumulated over the time that I've been gone. So I don't remember, I believe my last video was probably sometime in February. Um, and ever since then, I've been just kind of like a hoarder accumulating all of these empty products that I wanted to share with you guys. I love watching these types of videos because it really kind of gives you an insight of um, whether the person liked or didn't like the product and they kind of give a brief review of it. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. So I have accumulated a full big size Sephora bag of product empties. So let me just get right into it really briefly. Um, the first product I have here is just some baby wipes and um, these are the sensitive skin ones. I use these, um, someone recommended to me to use these as a makeup remover wipe. For the most part they worked really well, I just didn't really feel like they got the um, waterproof mascara off well or anything like that. So. Um, for the most part, towards the end, I just kind of used them as cleansing wipes, so um, they were okay, I guess. Won't really be repurchasing them. Um, next product I got emptied um, is my Daily Moisturizer Aveeno Body Lotion, and I've talked about this so many, so, so many times, and this is my all-time favorite um, body lotion because it really hydrates your skin. It doesn't have a smell to it. It's just amazing. You know, if you want to have me talk about this way more, just watch my other videos, but I've talked about it so many times, and I just love it and definitely will repurchase this lotion. Next one here. Um, this is not... Let's see here. The conditioner is not really used up and the shampoo is pretty much gone. Um, this is by Suave and it's the Almond and Shea, but Shea Butter <laughs> um, Shampoo and Conditioner. And this, let's see here, it's compared to Evita. So, um, I guess, I don't know, I've never tried Evita products, but um, wasn't too big of a fan. I got these when... We were traveling somewhere and one of my shampoos completely leaked and um, was useless. So I ended up just getting these. They're just extremely cheap and I mean the shampoo did a pretty good job. I just felt like after a while um, it just kind of stuck to my hair and it just you know starts wearing it down and stuff but you know if you have really really dry dry hair then probably this would work for me I have very coarse and thick hair so it wasn't all that great so I will not be repurchasing that specific brand anymore um, continuing with hair products um, this is the Purology um, hydrate condition and this is like a it's 100% vegan so um, I got this a while ago a long long time ago from my sister I believe she gave it to me kind of as some type of gift I'm not sure what it was and this is the liter size there's still a little bit left in here I just don't really like how it makes my hair feel um, after a while it just kind of wears it down so I wasn't too big of a fan so I will not be repurchasing it uh, let's see the smell here the smell is just very almost smells like chemical. I just just don't really like this. It kind of has that color smell to it, like hair color. So um, we'll now be repurchasing that. Next here I have the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer Body um, Wash and this was okay. I guess I, I had my hopes up really high for it. I thought that I would be experiencing a little bit more of like moisture and Kind of the feel that after I get out of the shower that I didn't have to put lotion on, as much lotion on, so um, I was pretty disappointed. So compared these two, I guess I just definitely will still be repurchasing my moisturizing lotion. Next, let's see here, I have the coconut, um, coconut milk conditioner and this is by the brand Organics. Usually these come in smaller bottles. I got this in the 50% more so it's like double the packaging of it and it's okay. I guess I didn't really like this because I felt like it kind of was stripping the color out of my hair. Um, it's just very... Like once you apply the conditioner it feels good but after a while it just, you know, once you wash the conditioner out it really just kind of felt like 
coarse, dry, brittle hair and I don't like that feeling so I had to load up my hair with leave-in conditioners and stuff like that so I kind of find that useless, you know? So um, there's just a tiny, tiny bit left in here but I will not be finishing it up so um, that was a fail. Uh, let's continue with hair products here. Next one here um, is the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, both of these are empty. I did use them up all the way. Um, they were okay. I guess they just, just kind of, you know, standard shampoo and conditioner. I didn't really see a big difference. Um, it didn't really hydrate my hair or anything like that. Even with these, I kind of felt like after using them for a while, it just gets used to your hair and just wears it down. So I still like my, um, um, my goodness, why can't I think of it right now? Um, my, oh my gosh, Biolage. My Biolage shampoo and conditioner. Those were my all-time, all-time favorite. I'm almost out of those as well, so you'll be seeing those in the next product empties video. Um, but I will be repurchasing the um, Sally's version of that. So I really wanted to give it a try because the Biolage shampoo and conditioner can get pretty pricey. Um, so I wanted to try kind of the off-brand of that, you know, kind of dupe for it and stuff. Um, next, let's see here, let's go with deodorants. None of us want to talk about this, but you know what? Let's talk about this. <laughs> um, the one that was kind of recommended to me um, was the Ultra Max Arm & Hammer um, Invisible Solid and & Fresh <laughs> um, deodorant. This is supposed to be for both male and female. Um, to me, it smells very very male so <laughs> I did not like that and honestly you smell good for just a split second and then after about an hour you stink you literally stink like sweat and it's just so disgusting so I used it a couple of times and this is basically a full tube of it it's definitely going into trash I I cannot believe how disgusting that I mean it's not working whatsoever um, the next here is the Lady Speed Stick, and this came, I believe, in some type of like goodie basket of some kind that I got. And um, it's the Enchanted Cherry Blossom. At first, it smells really good, don't get me wrong, and there's still tons of product in here too, but it's just nasty, pure nasty, because after a while, the cherry blossom just kind of, maybe it's just me, I hope it's not just me, because after a while, you just kind of start smelling pretty bad too, like, she hasn't taken a shower in like days, so I will not be repurchasing that, it's pretty embarrassing, um, <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. Next, let's see here. Let's go with the um, toothpaste. Um, this is my all-time, all-time favorite. Um, this is the Arm & Hammer, um, let's see here, Arm & Hammer um, Peroxy Care Healthy Gum with Baking Soda and Peroxide. This I really love because, um, and I usually switch it up between the um, whitening version that they have in this because baking soda is really good for whitening teeth. And um, it's I have very sensitive gums, and especially now during pregnancy, they're even more sensitive. So um, this has been amazing for me. I really, really love it. I've been using this for so, so many years. And every time I go to the dentist, the dentist is like, oh, have you been whitening your teeth? And my answer is always no. So it kind of is nice, you know, to, um, to be able to say that. So <laughs> um, this is the reason for that. So definitely suggest that and I will be repurchasing it many many times next I'm almost done here I'm trying to speed this up because it'll be a super long video um, next is the oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena um, I talked about this before I extremely love this stuff it really removes any type of waterproof makeup um, it's amazing and I usually just like the name said just use it for my eyes try not to use this anywhere else it is oil free but it's just it has kind of like a weird oily residue still after that so this is completely gone I will be repurchasing this I do like the um, Target version of it as well so they're very similar to me so I usually get whichever is on sale so it doesn't really matter to me next 
I have used up these um, razor, they're kind of like disposable, not reusable, disposable razors by, is it BIC or BIC? I'm not sure how to print how they call this brand but I've used these up they're okay you know for traveling and stuff um, I've actually discovered which I can't believe I forgot to mention those in my favorites video but I've discovered that the Target brand is amazing just uh, also the disposable kind um, they are beyond beyond amazing I mean they're even better than the Venus version so um, definitely check the Target brand out they're also pink they look Kind of just like that so check it out um but this was just an okay i will not be repurchasing those next i have a whole bunch of like sample size things here first um is the clinique let's see here this is the moisturizing lotion and this is the extended thirst relief um, the lotion gets really, really greasy on my skin. I do use the gel that I love and will continue to repurchase. Um, this was just kind of a sample size that came with one of the Clinique purchases. And so was this here. This was pretty good. Um, it definitely moisturizes your skin and it soaks into your skin really well. However, the only thing with this is it kind of makes you feel like you have this plastic or like a foil on your skin and it's just the strangest feeling in the world so I was not too impressed by this but I used it up so <laughs> and um, next here is the Neutrogena oil-free acne wash and this was okay I guess I, I didn't really feel like this did much for my skin it, it kind of is almost too harsh on the skin I felt like it was giving me little bumps so good thing it was only a travel size it came with some type of purchase that I did um, and then this here is the L'Oreal Go360 Clean Deep Exfoliating Scrub. Um, this was also a small travel size that came with another face wash. This was okay as well. We'll definitely not be repurchasing it. It was just a eh. few more items here. Uh, let's see here. I should have gone this with the um, toothpaste, but this is the Col... Colgate, Colgate, Colgate Total Dental Floss, and this I got from my dentist office. My dentist office always um, gives me a toothbrush and a little toothpaste and um, tooth floss. I absolutely love my dentist, and um, just use these floss things up. And next is my Maybelline uh, Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner. I have already repurchased this so many times, I can't even tell you. I will not switch to any other liquid eyeliner ever because I have tried it and I always go back to this. I love this so much, it just, I just can't stop talking about it. I love it so much. It's, it's so easy to work with and I'm wearing it every day and I just love it. Love, love, love it. Next is just a small sample size of the um, eyeshadow potion. It's a primer potion by Urban Decay. This came with my Naked palette. I love this stuff. I already have the big size of it and I love it. And two last items. I used um, the Jergen Daily Moisturizer um, Body Lotion. This was okay. I wasn't you know, that impressed by it, I guess. It did okay. You know, I still love my Aveeno body lotion so much more. And then the last item is the, um, this I got as a birthday gift from Sephora. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it's the Sugar Kisses Mini Lip Duo and it's by Fresh. Is it by Sugar or Fresh? I'm not familiar with this brand, but um, it was okay. I hear everyone on YouTube talk about this and... Honestly, I was expecting so, so much from it. I was so excited. I was almost tempted to just go and buy the big size of it. And then once I tried it, I was just kind of disappointed. I was like, eh, this doesn't really do much. Thank you so much for sticking through this extremely long video. I hope that you guys enjoyed these empties videos and hopefully I won't pile up that big of a pile next time I do one. Hopefully I can maybe do one every month or something or at least once a quarter. Um, so let's go with this as being quarter one of this year. Um, if you have any questions in regards to any of these products uh, mentioned in this video, feel free to always comment and ask. 
Um, I missed you so much, guys. I am so excited to be back. And again, I will see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.